Okay, I'm going to show you how to configure SNMP on a Windows 7 machine. Now, this would be important if you are trying to um, monitor your machines and make sure they're up and working. So, you go to the control panel, and um, the SNMP service is a feature. So, you go to Programs and Features, you go and turn on your Programs and Features, and when it finally loads up and you list all your features, you will see that there is an SNMP feature. So let's scroll down right here, SNMP. Click on this thing, click OK, and then it installs it. During the installation process, it also goes ahead and modifies your firewall to allow the SNMP through so that you don't have to worry about configuring that. However, if we want, we can take a look at the firewall just to verify to make sure that it is correctly there. All right, so we can go back and we go down to our firewall right here. And we do advanced settings. And then in the advanced settings, we're going to be taking a look at the configuration of our inbound rules. So inbound rules, you scroll down to the S section and you'll see the SNMP in is configured and ready to go. All right, so now we go back to our control panel and we go to administrative tools. And here we look at the services. One of the services that's there would be the SNMP and it probably already started it for us but that doesn't mean we can connect to it right now because we are not configured to be allowed to it. So I double click on this. And under security, we have to set up our community string. So the default community string, if you're out there trying to hack into things, is public. So we'll just call it public. Of course, ideally you'd have something else. Add that right there. And I'm going to allow SNMP from any host. This will make it so that I can connect to it from other machines and test it. Click apply. And OK. At this point, if you want to restart the service, it shouldn't be required because Windows usually loads things and makes them work just fine. All right. Now I'm going to take a look at connecting to it and testing it from the server. So I have the net SNMP tools installed. If I wanted to verify that, I could do a yum install net snmp utils and make sure that these things are already here. Now they should be here because I believe I installed them earlier. But once they're there, you can use the snmp walk and snmp get tools to find information about your system, about the systems that you're monitoring. So if I do snmp get, I can pass it the community string of public with a version of 2C, and I'm going to be going to the win7.example.com machine that I just configured, and I am going to pass it sysname.0 as the argument I want to get. And then it returns back Win7, indicating that I was able to connect to it, and we know SNMP is running. 